Okay, one more question. Uh, can you throw some light upon the uh, shapes and sizes of the hearing instruments? What are the shapes of yes, the market? Yes, th this is a very important question to address, I would yes. say, because as I said, that people have myth that if the hearing aid is invisible or if it is small, then uh, uh, it would be expensive. Mm. As we said that this is not the case. A completely inside the hearing aid instrument also starts from some 16, 18,000 rupees in the digital category. That's fantastic. Exactly. So we have uh, products for every person's pocket. Now there are mainly three categories, three shapes of hearing instruments available in the market these days. So. Uh, uh, we do have one model which is called CIC, which is a completely in the canal in the hearing canal. instrument. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. it goes completely in the ear. And if I'm using a hearing aid right now, I promise that you cannot tell me that I do have a hearing aid in the ear right now. Is that so invisible? Exactly. We do have an invisible in canal which goes completely inside the ear. And do we do we? get it fixed with something or, or something so normally what we do is we take the impression of your ear in that case mm -hmm. we send it to our lab okay. it is customized exactly as per your ear impression okay. and then it is being sent to you for the uh, hearing aid fit i mean any operation or something is required to get that fitted or no no not at all it is very easy very handy you can yourself insert it into your ear and you can okay. pull it out with the pulling thread there is an attachment to brilliant, the brilliant. that's brilliant yeah, yeah. And then there are two other models, a traditional model which is the BTE behind the ear hearing instruments. It is normally placed at the back of your ear and there is a tube. Like, like this one. Like, like this, this one, one yeah. exactly. And then uh, there is a tube which goes into the, uh, into the ear canal. So that's how the sound gets amplified and goes into your ear. So we would also show you, we have got some hearing instruments I would like to show you. So. So if you, if you look at this, yeah, I, I'll keep it here. If you look at this, this is a traditional VTE type of hearing instruments. Mm -hmm. So these hearing instruments sit at the back of your ear pinna, and then uh, there's a tube attached to this which goes into your ear. Can I can I see this? Yes, of course. So what he wants to tell is this is the VTE behind the ear hearing instrument, and this is how it is placed like this. Yeah, can you see that? <laughs> you cannot see that because it sits behind my pinna. This is called pinna. And then a tube goes from this place to this place and then the hearing aid is on. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. So this is very easy to use. Uh, uh, for elderly people, I would always recommend a BTE because it is very robust. The battery would last long. Uh, uh, it, it has got um, uh, fall protection. If the hearing aid falls, it would fall not. Fall protection, fall protection. Yeah, so uh, uh, this would not go bad. Uh, most of our hearing instruments are waterproof these days. So with a splash of water or with a little bit of water exposure, this would not go bad. So these are the benefit of a behind the ear hearing instrument. I mean, they are, are they truly waterproof? Uh, yes, these days we have truly waterproof hearing instruments. Waterproof? I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. <laughs> no, I must tell you that um, uh, recently we did a demonstration. Um, what we did is uh, uh, there was a swimmer, uh, a national level, level swimmer. Mm -hmm. So uh, we fitted a hearing instrument to her mm -hmm. and she swam in the water for some time in the pool. Uh, it was about 15 minutes and the hearing aid was tested after that and the hearing aid was wor working perfectly fine. And this Amazing. demonstration was done among uh, in front of more than 100 uh, guests, 100 hearing care specialists from all over India and everybody was amazed to see that. So the level of waterproofing that is there, it is exceptional. I mean, if what you say is correct, I mean, uh, this is so, so certainly, you know, I would say that this is amazing. This yeah. is amazing because the most important part is that what, what I usually get complaints from the patients is that, you know, uh, when they use the hearing instrument, they, they mostly complain that, okay, while using the hearing aid, I went to take shower and then it got damaged. Yes, and also people staying in the coastal areas, people yeah. staying in yeah. Mumbai, people staying in Chennai, yeah. their hearing instrument does not last long. The reason is that it, uh, they get a lot of moisture and these electronic devices have only one problem, the exposure to moisture, to water and that is the main reason of, dam of being damaged, of getting damaged. Mm.
So uh, uh, yes, we do have the waterproofing technology now. It is German technology, so you can completely rely on that. Wonderful. I would also like to tell you about the third model that we have. So third model is an RIC type of hearing instruments. So it sits at the back of your ear as a BTE, but it is very, very small in size. So it is as good as an invisible hearing instrument. In some cases, a CIC cannot be fitted, a completely inside the hearing instrument cannot be fitted due to uh, your audiogram, due to the shape of your ear or maybe any other reason. In all such cases, RIC is the best choice because it is small, it is invisible and it's, it's at the back of your ear. And uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, what do you exactly mean by RIC? Huh, RIC is receiver in canal hearing instrument. Receiver in canal. Yes. Yeah. And what happens is that the receiver uh, goes into the ear drum, ear, ear canal, sorry, okay. ear canal, and then uh, the the hearing aid amplifier is actually at the back of the ear. Okay. Now the best part with these hearing instruments are that the receivers can be changed whenever needed. A receiver, the hearing aid does not have any uh, power or any gain in it. Okay. So the gain is defined with the type the of receiver. receiver used in it. That's amazing again. So the same hearing instrument can be fitted to any hearing loss or God forbid if the loss increases in a later stage, our RIC hearing aid is uh, can still work because you can just change the receiver and keep on using the same hearing instruments. So as far as I understand, I mean I would uh, address my audience that uh, as far as I understand, a uh, receiver in canal model Say for example, today you have a 50% hearing loss, and tomorrow, uh, uh, if you are, if you start using RIC, and tomorrow your hearing loss uh, increases by 10 decibel or something, yeah. so the same hearing instrument uh, can be used with a higher power receiver just by changing the receiver. And that is why I think RICs became popular. Uh, that is why RICs became popular. Also, in certain cases. Uh, uh, we could not fit a completely in the ear uh, yeah. hearing instruments One more and, and the behind the ear instruments were too big to use. Yes. Um, uh, people who are very active, uh, who goes to offices, who meet uh, attending meetings, conferences, they normally do not like to put such a yeah. big hearing instrument on their ear. So visibility is also yeah, so one of the reasons. visibility was one of the reasons, yeah. yeah. And then this keeps your ear completely open. So there are certain losses where only an RIC can be used. Yeah. Uh, uh, I would always recommend to get a professional advice before mm -hmm. going for a hearing instrument. You should consult an audiologist for a professional help. Uh, True. Yes, and let them decide the kind of hearing aid which should be given in your type of hearing loss because there are different types of hearing loss and it can be a necessary requirement to choose a certain shape for you. Wonderful. and. Um, uh, one more question, mm -hmm. uh, how, how do you think that Acoustica International mm -hmm. is committed to provide these technologies and you know how do you think that uh, Acoustica International is contributing towards the growth of uh, this overall awareness into the market? Alright, so, so with Acoustica what we are doing is uh, on a regular basis, we are training our hearing care dispensers. Okay. We have come up with the latest technology of hearing instruments. Mm -hmm. The brand is called Audio Service. It is one of the best brand available in the market in the industry today. I think this brand was uh, owned by Siemens yes, or Silentos. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, Siemens Hearing Instruments uh, uh, used to own this brand, okay. which was now taken, which was now. Uh, which uh, Siemens Hearing Instruments is now called Sivantos, Sivantos. but the name is uh, coming from Siemens only and uh, now uh, the audio service brand which is a German brand that was taken over by Siemens Hearing Instruments, the manufacturing is done by Siemens Hearing Instruments and this Siemens Hearing Instruments is now known as Sivantos, right? Exactly and uh, uh, there's a new news wherein the Sivantos have merged with Widex and the new group is called WS Audiology. So WS Audiology. Exactly. So audio service is part of the new group WS Audiology. Great. Anything else you would like to tell to my audience? Oh yes, I would like to tell a little bit more about the brand audio service. Yeah. Uh, it is a 42 years old brand. 
uh, a German brand and let me tell you that they were the first one to manufacture a custom hearing aid in the world. The first one? They were and the first. Kudos to that. <laughs> so the technology available with audio service, especially in custom products, is unbeatable. Is it? Now, yes. And now it comes in ready-made CICs, instant fit CICs, variants. And also uh, it has got mobile application to control all types of devices. Okay. Let me tell you that this also can cover, I mean the custom product of audio service, yeah. a CIC which is a very small instrument, mm -hmm. this can cover a profound hearing loss of up to 110 decibel. And 110 that's a big decibel, yes. that is really, really. Yes. So people who have very high degree of hearing loss, they can still use a completely in the canal okay. hearing. So I'll just uh, quickly, I'll talk to my audience. These all technical updates will be provided to you in this channel hearing tech updates and every time every time you watch a video in hearing tech updates you will get some or the other information about new new technologies i mean i am just throwing certain questions to mr vishnu and uh, but i am sure that in the videos to come mr vishnu will definitely guide you through all the technical updates right exactly mm -hmm. so please keep on watching our channel Hearing Tech Updates for regular updates in the hearing aid industry. Hearing Tech Updates.